Okay, fight fans, fight fiends, welcome back to Manny's Thoughts, episode 100. I am very happy that we've made it to this point, and for those of you that have followed along, thank you very much. I truly appreciate it. Let's get on with the show. Okay, so first up, I have to give congratulations to Fredericton, New Brunswick. Wow, what a beautiful spot. First time going there. Great night of fights. Thank you, L Jack Promotions and Brandon Brewer. Fantastic event. I would like to take this moment to tell Camilo Stefan and Yvon Michel to pay attention to the Maritimes. There was 3,500 fans strong there. And it was for a couple local guys and Shaquille Finn, our Canadian champion. So just imagine what somebody with a big bankroll could do. That town is starved for action. It is a beautiful fight city. And I am happy to say that I was able to attend last weekend's fights. Uh, honestly, just it's a hometown show. So they brought in opponents. And it was a solid card all the way around. There was... Uh, you know, some mismatches, but it is what it is. Now, uh, as far as Shaq's fight, he was originally supposed to fight someone else, as we all know. And trust me, I got plenty more on that, but we're going to have to wait. But Shaquille was supposed to fight someone else, and the guy got injured. So they, they found another opponent, and the kid, honestly, he stepped up. He didn't know if he would ever get an opportunity like this again, so he took the chance. Only in the second pro fight, this kid... Uh, gave as good as he could, but Shaq just outclassed him, and it's no wonder, as I've mentioned a thousand times, the work this guy puts in with the people that he puts in is just first level, it's top tier, and uh, you know, you you can't really say anything bad about his opponent. Now, uh, obviously I got the weigh-ins, there was some mess up with the internet connection, and then my Facebook and the camera got knocked over, but I was able to fix it. It's on the Fight City YouTube. I also got a Shaquille Finn highlight reel on the YouTube for the Fight City as well, so make sure to check that out. I uh, got plenty more stuff coming up this week, which we'll get to in a second. So just to finish with New Brunswick, Honestly, I got to meet some really, really cool people. I always make a point of going to find an old-timer in the commission and talking them up because they always got the best boxing stories. And, uh, you know, I got to meet Jerry Van Stone again. He had come to Montreal a little while ago and I had met him real briefly. But this time around, I got to really talk to him and whatnot. Korean War veteran, 104 fights and only four losses, former 1956 Canadian champion, just a really cool old dude, and uh, quite honestly, does really well with the ladies, so uh, wasn't a bad thing, you know, hanging around with Jerry was kind of good. Now, um, as far as the show is concerned, man, the fans, the fans made that show fantastic, honestly. Uh, Brendan Brewer brought out some production I didn't even know was possible there, and uh, I was really impressed with the show itself. Now, uh, as far as the main events go, Dylan Carmen had an opponent, like I stated before. So did Brendan Brewer. To be honest, from the weigh-ins and the way the guy was acting in the locker room, I really thought Brendan Brewer's opponent was going to come and try and bring it. But, uh, you know, I guess he was good at talking up a storm and convincing them that he was going to put up a solid fight because, well, Brendan Brewer just creamed him. Now, uh, Brendan Brewer is great, but, uh, you know, I, I think his opponent just got outclassed and that's all there is to it. So, uh, as far as the entire card goes, just a fantastic night of fights. If you ever get a chance to go pass through in the Maritimes or if you're from the Maritimes and you're watching this, uh, great events there. I look forward to another Montrealer coming to New Brunswick to give me an excuse to go. Uh, cannot say enough good things about New Brunswick. Thank you very much everyone involved with me going there. We all know it's not easy, especially since I don't really have another job other than doing this. So again, thank you everyone. Now, as far as what's going down this week, as we speak right now, I got footage in the computer being edited 
from today's weigh-in Group Evo Michel Casino Boxing Series. That's going down tomorrow night. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Obviously, I'm going to be all over it. I'm going to get some pictures and video. I'm going to hang out. Then Friday night, I of the Tigers got a weigh-in. And uh, David Lemure, Gislein Mani Maduma, uh, Stephen Butler will be in action. Just a terrific card. And then, obviously, at the Bell Center Saturday night, fight night. So I've got myself a very busy week. We're not even going to talk about what's on TV or any other news. As I've already mentioned, it's going to be a busy week here in the Fight City. So let me give you a quick rundown. First up, Thursday at the Casino de Montréal, Group Yvon Mijel presents a beautiful night of boxing. Alexander Choco making his pro debut at 40 years old. Wish him nothing but luck. Young super middleweight fighter Petrus Volney will be making his third outing. The queen of the fight city, Mariev Dicker, will be looking to make it 5-0. Lightweight sensation, Dwayne Diamond Durrell looking to do the same as his fifth entrance in the ring. 5-0 as well. Nothing but undefeated fighters here, folks. Vishlan Dalkaev, as mentioned, undefeated, looking to make it 8-0. Super middleweight sensation. Dario Bradishian, 9-0, looking to make it 10-0. 10 fights, he's been extremely active. I'm very happy for this young man. Look out for Dario Bradishian. And last but not least, Custio Clayton. 9-0, making his 10th entrance into the ring as well. It is an undefeated card on Thursday night from Group Ivo Michel at the Casino. Then Saturday night at the Bell Center, we've got a serious treat for us fight fans here. Kazakh fun right here, my friends. Able Kusenov. 2-0, looking to make it 3-0. Also in action, hard-hitting Dave Tiru, 11-1. Matsu G-Time Germain, super lightweight sensation. A lot of people are talking about this kid, Batir Jukenbaev. He is the Kazakh kid, looking to become 6-0. Also been very active, kudos to his team for putting him to work. Heavyweight monster, Simon Keen. We've got heavyweight boxing this Saturday night in the Bell Center. I could not be happier. U.S. import, Demetrius Ballard looking to make it 15-0. He's a super middleweight that I've been looking at. And I am so pumped that they brought him down here to Montreal for us to see. One of my favorites, as you already know, super welterweight sensation, Mian Hussein, 16-0. Gislain Manny Maduma, fresh off his work with Freddie Roach, looking to take on a tough opponent in Ricky Suzmundo, who basically brought out a hell of a fight with Zirijan. And uh, honestly, I think Gislain is going to cream this dude. The protege himself, Bang Bang, Stephen Butler, 17-0, super welterweight. And uh, honestly, this kid is just fantastic to watch. A lot of people are going to be talking about him in the next two years. I guarantee you there's going to be all kinds of U.S. media on this guy. He is fighting a very tough opponent. This is the fight. For me, this is the fight that will stop all the negative talk and define Stephen Butler as an elite fighter. Because Jenks Trotter is just about as tough an opponent as Stephen Butler has had. They've been progressing his career properly and he is facing some serious competition for the vacant IBF North American super welterweight title. Looking to put two on this kid. P.S. Stephen Butler just had a kid. Congratulations. Send him a message. Last but not least. 
David Lemieux versus Christian Fabian Rios. That's a gift. You and me both know David Lemieux belongs on HBO pay-per-view. Here he is going to be on Indigo in the Bell Center. All to make up for his last uh, issues here in Montreal. Honestly, I think he's just trying to make the fans happy. And I am. We've got ourselves a lot of fights to talk about here in the Fight City. But while I have you guys, before I let you guys go, I want to make a quick mention. Also going down in Saskatoon Saturday night for the CPBC middleweight title. Looking to have three champs here in Quebec with the CPBC belt. We've got Paul Bisdell versus Frank Catroni. Frank Catroni is the original Cinderella man doing 12-hour shifts. Coming to the gym, putting in road work. This is a guy that all of Quebec should be rooting for. I want nothing but good for this guy. If he can beat a tough Paul Bisdell and put a belt on him, we are going to be talking a lot more about him, or at least the Fight City is, and I will make a distinct point of doing so. Frank deserves it. This kid has had as hard as any boxing uh, careers have gone here. He has not had an easy go at it. I am so thankful that he's got a shot at a title. He is going to take full advantage of it. Make sure you support Frank Catroni this Saturday. Go ahead and hit up his Twitter and his Facebook and let him know that you're a fan and rooting for him. I've got loads more video to load up on my YouTube and on the Fight City's YouTube. I've got uh, you guys' questions video to put up. I've got more weigh-ins to put up. Just go to YouTube religiously. You will find new stuff almost every time you go. Go to the Fight City. Great articles and posts on the daily. Hit us up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram... If you like the t-shirts, buy one. That's it for me. I've done a hundred of these motherfuckers. To a hundred more.